When I first started, I was most interested in how the actual artwork was going to get put up in the streets. I guess I wanted to challenge street art beyond being just a static object. And that's where I thought about using magnets. In the beginning, I began by creating sculpture pieces that had a riddle and a magnet attached to it. The idea was that I got people to take the artwork home with them and then they would think of a place to put it back up in the streets and geotag and hashtag the artwork's location. Because I'm relying on people to find the actual artwork and to move it around, it's going to take on a life of its own. But for me, the most important thing is that the audience participation has become as significant as the final piece itself. Using magnets allows me to install my pieces in places traditional mediums of street art couldn't go before. And this is making for exciting possibilities of not only where people find the artwork, but also where it ends up. The fact that people are actually making the effort to find the artworks, to share it on social media, to think of new places to put the artwork in their city, for me indicates a changing mindset for the better that street art can actually offer something positive for their community. For me, magnets are the means, but not the final message. I'm most interested in the power of street art to tell a story. Though because my art doesn't come with an explanation, it's going to be open to different people's interpretations. And the most interesting thing for me is I never know who or how I'm going to affect a different passerby. I feel like for my artwork to be justified, I need to create a connection with my audience. I want it to elicit an emotion in someone. I want it to tweak a feeling and trigger a memory. If I can do that, I feel like I've achieved my goal.